what up guys all right so we're done the first site well we're done that site just got loaded up and head on to the next one and it's a pain in the butt to have to load the excavator on and chain it down and everything because i'm only going like six kilometers seven kilometers down a dirt road but anyway it's on so i said yesterday it's 2017 this is actually a 2018 sure track two 15,000 pound axles 25 plus five uh, mega ramps to give the flat deck on the back these fold down but it gives you a nice flat deck up here tracks aren't cleaned off as good as what they would be if I was going on the road that's for sure um, but uh, the trailer itself weighs weighs um, 8,800 pounds so that leaves me you know with 20 21,020 pounds of payload that I can put on this thing 2160 that I can put on this so I'm getting close to that the excavator is somewhere around 19 then you add the head on there and fuel inside the thing and the extra bucket so yeah I'm, I'm definitely pushing pushing 30,000 pounds for the truck um, I have a BMW uh, puck style drop-in 2 and 5 sixteenths a gooseneck ball Got my toolboxes here mounted. Got one underneath on the other side, chainsaw and tools and everything. I've got uh, Firestone Ride Right airbags I just installed a couple weeks ago. The heavy duty, heavy duty fire airbags, and I have the uh, Firestone Firestone compressor. And there's the remote right there. But anyway, it hauls really good. I definitely can't wait to get the truck tuned so I can monitor, you know, all my temperatures and stuff instead of scrolling through the screen. And, you know, obviously put it on a tow tune, it will tow better, even better, but truck drives great, rides great. Um, and, you know, has definitely has enough power to do what I gotta do. But anyway, I'm gonna make a short little video right now of driving, but like I said, I'm only going on dirt road, so it's not really a good test. But I'm hoping to get this site done and then move on to the next one. So we'll catch you, catch you on the road here. Let's see what we're on here. Dirt road.
this is next. The anchors are short though. Obviously not doing that with the machine. The cables going through everywhere. But we'll do what we can. Should be out of here in, I don't know, three hours. That's what I'm thinking. But we'll see. All right, guys. So we're all done with our second site for the day. Gonna move the machine to the next site and call it a day. It's getting pretty late. This is where the jungle was. Got some handwork just around the building to do, but another one in the books. Man, it's hot. It's like 36 degrees here every day right now. This was tricky. It's done. All right, so she's all loaded on again, chained down. Tracks are cleaned off this time. She's ready to go. I just gotta update my logbook. Don't forget my phones that are here on the back of the trailer. But yeah, she's ready to go. So I'll make a little video once I actually get on the real road. Alright guys, we're getting, getting close to being on the road. Road. You can hear the, you know, the engine brake working. The grade shift works really good. That combined with the exhaust brake really holds holds the speed well. And the exhaust brake sounds awesome. I love the way it sounds. Cars fly around this turn, so hopefully there's nothing's coming too fast. My foot is not to the floor. Now it is. Some stuff that you need 
when you're on the road, because I do a lot of work on the road, as I am right now, you know, doing doing that and trying to do that with a with a dump truck, trying to run around and get groceries and you know just whatever is not uh, is not ideal. That's for sure. So this, you know, I just dropped the gooseneck trailer and and you know it's still a big pickup truck but it's essentially just a pickup truck so doing what I'm doing you know running around doing these brush clearing from these sites this is a very good setup for me um, I do do road repairs as well like if the road needs to be repaired while I'm there I will do it but I'll just get a load of gravel or whatever gravel I need or whatever material I need. I'll just get it hauled in from a local quarry or a local contractor so you know it, like it, it it definitely all all works for me this was the best the best way for me to go I had a tandem last year doing this and just for those reasons trying to trying to you know jump around with a the dump truck is is not not ideal there's no there's no place for tools like I got toolboxes on the back um, you know with chainsaw in it and all kinds of tools you know you got lots of room in the back for all your all your sleeping stuff you know all your sleeping bags or your suitcase or whatever you want you could haul a crew of four in here no problem if you wanted to do that last year I was having to always have the the tandem and another truck along with it just for just for those reasons of there being no room so, you know here we are up the hills down hills around twisty turns and the truck is doing very good should be I should be done this other job that I'm doing I should be done that one tomorrow and then I will actually be on the highway um, so I'll definitely make make a video of that too or maybe just add that video to this one So we're actually on the highway right now and got the cruise control set at 102.
a two, three percent grade. I know on camera it's almost impossible to tell. We're dropping speed a little bit. Just downshifted into fifth. Let's see what our trans temp is still good. 109. That's it for today. Today was a better day. I don't know why sometimes it seems like the equipment works better one day than it did the other. I don't know, but it was a good day. I got that site finished off, another site completely done. The gear is here at the new site, ready to go. This is tomorrow's task. So it's 
dropped off, ready to go. Just go jump in the truck now. And it's Saturday night in Cape Breton. I think I'll go grab a little bit of food. Maybe get a couple beer. And probably fall asleep. <laughs> but hey, we do it all again tomorrow. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Later.